limit as x well we definitely know that this meets you may be familiar with his voice as x and in this case c is 0 on one of his many videos on youtube are on opposite sides. But what you may not know is that his videos are part of a large nonprofit organization that receives around 2 million unique viewers on their website per month. Salman Khan, the man behind the voice, is not your average teacher. He has three degrees from MIT and a master's in business from Harvard. I know that when I was studying for my OAT, I was looking up like how do atomic orbitals work? I had no idea, I couldn't forget, I couldn't remember, you know? And then I looked up on YouTube and there was a really beautiful tutorial on how it's done. And I was like, who is this guy? You realize there's like hundreds of tutorials on specific topics from biology to history to economics. And you know, it's not even just elementary stuff. Like he has math subtraction, but he has college level topics too. I do think that there, there are definitely gonna be things that I won't be able to do. Like surgery. Like, <laughs> like, and, 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 and so we are exploring how do we how, how do we do that. Um, I, I was talking to some people at the Stanford Med School and let's let's get medical lectures up and get some of your professors to I mean how cool would that be? I mean you know and they would just be there forever for the world. But Salman is not just interested in making YouTube videos. The mission of his academy is about changing education for the better. On Tuesday night, the student group Project Rishi hosted a symposium at the UC Berkeley campus on social entrepreneurship, featuring Salman Khan speaking about the value of using videos in teaching. We can create a, a you know a, a system where anyone can learn, and, it can, and you know if we got hit by a bus, it'll still exist, and it'll still like if society breaks down and we go into a dark ages, as long as there's some atomic powered you know iPads around, <laughs> then, then someone can pick one up and rebuild civilization from scratch. It's mind-boggling. In the International Student Assessment Report comparing 15-year-olds in 34 industrialized countries around the world, the U.S. ranked 14th for reading skills, 17th for science, and 25th for mathematics. With the U.S. falling to average in both reading and science and below average in math, educators around the country are wondering, why is this happening? Some people blame the Obama administration or the states or even the public schools themselves for these falling numbers. The, bit, the single best thing you could do in, in higher education is decouple the learning process from the credentialing process. Because right now, there's some great community colleges. And you go there, and it might be rigorous, although some aren't rigorous, some are rigorous. And you go, you get a 4.0 GPA at the community college, you go two counties over, no one's even heard of the community college. And they're like, well, what, what is this? What, is, what did you do? While politicians and educators may not agree on why U.S. is falling behind in education, what they do agree on is that more attention needs to be given to students in the classrooms. Yeah, in most classrooms, it's a bunch of kids doing this, teacher giving kind of a one-size-fits-all lecture. You know, great teachers. I'm not disparaging the teachers, but that's how they have to do it, just to manage a classroom. I think the combination, though, will be ideal, and that learn at your own pace, uh, learn the stuff, get feedback, and then the teachers have really good data on what's going on, when you're doing problems, how you're doing them. If Isaac Newton had done YouTube videos on calculus, I wouldn't have to. <laughs> uh, assu assu assuming he was good, uh, we don't know. I mean, the, uh, uh. Through teaching students with videos, Salman Khan strives to make a sustainable change in public education. Reporting for CalTV, I'm Tiffany Sue.